In the beginning, there was darkness everywhere. Then God spoke, and He said, Let the creation be light. Hello Creation Scientists, my name is Auntie Shibu. I want to welcome you once again to the Creation Us Kids School of Science. School of Science! Hello, my name is Kimani and this is my sister. Hi, I'm Jemai. Welcome, welcome to, to our, our school. school. God made the world in six days and on the seventh day God rested. Do you know what God made on the first day of the week? Well, let's just move on to the creationometer and see if we can figure it out. Did God make animals on the first day of the week? Or was it birds, fish, the seas, the flowers, the plants, the lights, the sun, the moon, the stars? What did God make on the first day of the week? Do you know? Well, if you said God made light on the first day of the week, you're right. God made the light. Light shines out of fire with heat, really, really hot heat that gives us energy. What do you know about heat and energy? Heat moves energy from place to place to place all the time. It never stops. Energy is life. It's movement. It's work. If you can move your hands, you have energy. You're alive. If you breathe, move your head, blink your eyes, you're alive and you have energy. Our main sources of energy are the sun and fire. Fire is not just something. Fire is something that happens. When we light a fire, we say we ignite it. Like this matchstick. You see all those sparks in that movement? That is energy and heat at work. We call it combustion. Now you can light a candle. All right, now it's time for an experiment. An experiment is something you do when you want to find something out about science, when we want to explore and to experience and to discover. Well, I think that energy is in our bodies and energy we just learned comes with heat. So if we work a little bit, we should make heat, right? Because heat moves energy. The way we're gonna test this is we're gonna do some exercise. You ready? Okay, stand up. Let's start marching. March, 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 and two, and one, and two, and one, and two, and march, march. And out, hands up, hands up, and jump. They call these jumping jacks, right? Lean to the side, lean, 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 jump. Okay, let's rest. Now, what do you feel? Are you sweating? Maybe not. Are you breathing a little heavier? Mm. There's something going on. There must be some heat moving. Do you feel a little warmer? Were you cold at first? Is your heart pumping a little more? Yes, because when you move, energy and heat happens. Our experiment tells us that even people have energy like fire. My name is Jan and I'm making this scarf. What inspired your talent? Mom. How did she get you into this talent? I asked her. Why were you so interested in learning how to crochet? Because it looks so cool. Colorful. Do you think you could use your talent to glorify God? Yes. How? Well... Do you think scarves help to keep people warm? Yes. Is that a way we can glorify God by helping people? Yeah. 
I know we have some creation scientists out there. If you want to do a show and tell, you can be right here on the show. All you have to do is send in a video no longer than one minute of you doing an art project, a science experiment. Just get in touch with your parents and ask them to send a video to the email right below. We would love to hear from you. Some people believe that the fire of life started or was ignited with a big bang and great heat. Auntie Shebu believes what the Bible says, that God is the big fire. His energy moves throughout the universe with great heat. His work is to create and to love the people he created, like you and like me. The Bible also says that God is a consuming fire. That means God is a fire that can burn things up. That means he can burn everything up, even us. But he doesn't because he loves us. He has mercy. He consumes us in his love. He grabs us and he brings us into his love. That's the kind of fire that God is. Well, now it's story time and we're gonna learn more about little Musa and Papa Musa in the land of the bush. Get on your pillows, close your eyes, and put on your thinking caps so you remember what you learned. Let's go! Here we are. Little Moose is scared because Pharaoh Tut already promised him he's going to meet him at lunch and take his lunch money. That boy's bad. At least he acts like he's bad. Maybe he needs a hug or some pancakes or even an apple. But he doesn't ask for things, he just demands things, and he takes things. That's not right. Look, here comes Papa Musa right now. Come here, little Musa. Come sit on Papa's lap. Did I hear your granny say you don't want your pancakes? Yeah, Papa Musa. I'm not hungry right now. You're not hungry, you say? Well, sounds to me like your fire's going out. My fire's going out? Yeah. There's a fire inside of you, and it has to eat to live. But when the fire is going out sometimes, you're not hungry. Sometimes we're sad or mad or scared. We can't eat because our fire is going out. Who said I'm scared? I'm not scared, Papa Musa. Look at him, boys and girls. Little Musa's crying. <laughs> Little Musa, what is it? Why are you so sad? <laughs> it's that mean old Pharaoh Tut. He keeps taking my lunch money. And he's messing with all my friends too. Him and his friends. <laughs> oh, I see. Did I ever tell you why we call our home the land of the bush? No, Papa Musa. <laughs> why do we call our home the land of the bush? I know you're sad and scared about that mean old feral tut, but if you eat some of your granny's pancakes with your apple, I'll tell you the story. Okay, Papa. Tell me the story. Little Musa loves Papa's stories. Papa's stories always make Little Musa feel stronger. Do you want to know why Little Musa's home is called the land of the bush? We live in the land of the bush because this is where the big fire brought us. The big fire? Yeah, the big fire. Long time ago, our great, 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 great grandfathers and our great, 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 great grandmothers were slaves. They stole us away from the land far across the sea where the lions and giraffes and zebras and big snakes and gazelles roamed the land. And they brought us here on big, cold, deadly, smelly slave ships, and we worked in the land planting cotton and cooking and cleaning and doing everything for the master. He called himself the master. He was the boss, he and his family. And he made us work and never gave us much of anything. He just took everything. Sometimes he would beat us and sell us away from our families and sell our families from us. Our fire was going out. We were losing our hope. Even though we were scared, we couldn't live in slavery. You see, little Musa, if you lose your hope, it's like losing your fire. 
and nobody can live without fire. When our great 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 grandmothers and our great 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 grandfathers, we call them the ancestors. When the ancestors got courage and got hope, they ran away from the master. Yeah, I need courage to stand up to Pharaoh Tut, me and my friends. That's right, son. But nobody stands up to big, powerful, mean, hateful people by themselves. Sometimes you gotta tell them no to their face. Sometimes you gotta run away at nighttime like many of your ancestors who ran away from slavery. And sometimes you gotta tell someone, but no matter how you stand up, you cannot do anything without the big fire. So who was the big fire and how did he help the ancestors run away from slavery? And why do we call our home the land of the bush? <laughs> oh wow, that's three questions at once. And I got three answers. <laughs> I was just getting to that. You see, the fire that is in you and me and everybody else, the light in the sky, the sun and the moon and the stars all come from the big fire. He's the biggest, greatest fire starter of all time. The big fire told the slave to run, and he gave them a lighted path on the road using his star. They called it the North Star in the sky, and our ancestors moved to this place following the North Star. You can probably tell that our story is not done, but for the exciting conclusion of Little Musa and the Big Fire, join us next time right here. Have you ever wondered, what makes fire burn? How deep is the ocean? What makes leaves green? How far are the stars from your house? What makes birds fly? Why do lions roar? How does food get from your mouth to your stomach? At Creation Us Kids School of Creation Science, we know you have questions. And we have answers in God's creation and in His Word. At Creation Us Kids, we believe God's love for us is pure science. All right, let's see what we learned today. We learned that energy moves with heat from place to place to place to do work. If you hear me, if you move, if you know something, you're alive and you have energy. God's energy moves with great heat throughout the universe and his work is to create and to love you and me. We learned that when little Musa told Papa Musa about the bully that was taking his lunch money, that if you tell somebody, if you pray to the big fire, if you pray to God, he will protect you and he will help you. Are you being bullied? Is somebody hurting you? Tell somebody, somebody needs to know. They will help you. Use your energy for good and not for bad. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But until next time we come together, remember this. God's love for us is pure science.